today we are testing out the brand new DJI Osmo Action 4 camera. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Listen, it doesn't mean they don't deserve a show, am I right? These people died to be here. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Imagine. Rest in peace, though. Sorry, back to business. You guys are gonna notice I didn't bring my goggles today. And so I can look at the camera, make sure I'm not having any issues, make sure everything's going good. So if I look like I'm cross-eyed, it's because I'm looking at the camera. Now, when it comes to moto vlogging, there are a lot of things that you have to consider, like uh, group rides. If I'm gonna go on a group ride with someone, the whole group is not gonna stop just because I need to switch out a battery. So I gotta say, convenience has gotta be one of the most important things you could ask for when it comes to motovlogging. Now, if there's one thing I could tell you about this action camera, it's that it is one of the most convenient cameras that you can use for an action camera. And the beauty of this camera, which I could even show you guys, I could just use this magnetic feature, pull it off and the camera's already off and I can switch it out, it's good to go. And I can just throw it back up here, look at that. Look at that, dude, that's so nice. Now, if you ride as much as I do, you know when your battery's about to die and you know when you need to pull over and switch it out. But sometimes you just can't do that or just the timing of it just doesn't work out. So you gotta learn how to switch the battery while you're actually riding. And one thing I can tell you about the GoPro is how annoying it is to switch a battery while you're riding. We'll talk about this more in the comparison video when I compare this one to the Hero 12 that just came out as well. Maybe I'll throw in a quick clip of what it's like to change out the GoPro battery. But like I said, more of that in the comparison video. But I do have to say, guys, my favorite part of this camera is just how easy it is to take it off, how easy it is to switch out the batteries. And although that might seem like something pretty small if you're just like a vlogger, that is a massive benefit in the motorcycle community. Now, I know the older Osmo action cameras had this feature, um, but this is my first real time experiencing it. And I got to say, it's I can't believe how much better I've, I've been missing out. Let's just put it that way. Give me a sec, guys. My ADHD is kicking in and we got to have some fun. Uh, the thing that I love about this action camera immediately is I don't have to put that massive case that you do with the GoPro in order to have any sort of mic quality for this camera. I don't know if you guys can tell that I sound a little bit different than the other videos, uh, but now I have the Bluetooth portable mic. Uh, but they've really perfected this sound and it almost sounds perfect. I say almost because part of me can hear just a slight little difference, but you know, I do listen to this stuff every day, so maybe that's why I notice it so much. But there's a lot of benefits to not having all of that stuff. Like I said, you don't have to carry the media mod. You don't have to have the mic in your helmet, which you guys might be able to see some wires in my helmet. I should also say that with the mic settings, you do have the option to add an adapter where you can put in the, the microphone plugin. So if you don't mind wires and you know, you want to avoid having to charge like this uh, wireless mic, then you always have that as an option really expands to the kind of content I can I can get for you guys but I can just set the camera down there and you guys can still hear me talk I wonder I don't know how far that Bluetooth goes though so maybe I will disconnect I don't know but it's not often I can just use one camera and get the, the audio and get the the visual and it still all works it's just like you can't beat it you know one of the downsides though to this mic is that it is something else that you have to charge, which kind of sucks. You know, if that thing dies while you're on your ride, well, then you're kind of screwed. So there are, you know, there are downsides to these things, but if you are smart, you're organized, you have everything together, that's not gonna be a problem. But you guys know me, I lose everything, I forget things, I forget to charge things. 
So that's just something I see myself running into. So right off the bat, those are two of the most key things about this camera that just make it so much better. Now let's put you guys back up top here. Let's talk about the batteries because DJI claims you get about two and a half hours per battery. Um, now from my experience, it's more like an hour and a half, but they probably use you know lesser settings. I have the max settings. But from my experience, they last about an hour and a half. Uh, it's a little bit better than the, uh, the GoPro batteries. Uh, but where DJI absolutely destroys its competition is with the charging case. If you guys don't know this, I carry 15 GoPro batteries in my pocket because you never know how many you're going to need, how many you're going to die, how many fall out of your pocket, and how many I'm going to lose. You definitely have to factor in how many I'm going to lose because that is just who I am. This is the case that comes with the camera. First of all, I love the fact that I can throw this thing in my pocket. It's even better that it charges the batteries while they're in my pocket because I can't do that with the other, the other cameras. And the best part about it, it charges a battery in 18 minutes, all the way up to 80%. That means I don't have to carry 15 batteries with me. It also means as soon as I'm done with one battery, it's charging the next one. Because this alone, this feature alone is enough for me to only use the DJI. I would never run out of battery for any ride and that is something that I would love to not have to worry about. It's nice to see a company really do well when it comes to uh, stuff that helps the motor vlog scene. Such a good spot right here, dude. Oh, I didn't even realize this guy's hitting off the tee. That's my bad, bro. That is my bad. Now, another very important feature that you need when it comes to motor vlogging is a wide angle lens. Now, I love to put my cameras on my helmet because it really gives you exactly what I'm looking at. When something happens, you guys can see it directly because I'm looking at it. Especially like when I'm in a wheelie and I kind of want you guys to see what's going on. You know, like my feet through the bar or just like feet to the side. This gives you a little bit better angle so you can kind of see me jump to the seat. Now, not always, like I said, but it does help. Like when I'm standing up here, you guys can't see anything and I've learned that, but. The wider the angle, usually the better the shot. You know, obviously there is a limit. You don't want it to be so wide that it just looks distorted and ugly. But this camera does have a wide angle lens and it's wider, slightly wider than what the GoPro can get. And I think DJI did a good job of making it the widest setting it can without being too distorted. One of the worst problems I think I have with any action camera is the fact that they overheat so easily. GoPro is notorious for this. Uh, but this one doesn't. I actually have had zero overheating issues. We've had a few hot days, about 90 degrees, and I still have yet for it to be like, I have yet for it to shut off, which is pretty cool. Um, and also from a lot of the research that I did, I noticed that almost no one's had overheating issues. So that's a massive plus. I can't tell you how annoying it is to have your camera overheat. And the only way to get it to run for a little bit longer is to switch out the battery, even though it's not dead. Uh, but then that only goes for like another five or 10 minutes. So you're just constantly fighting the, the camera and trying to keep it to stay on, especially for the group rides, man. I can't miss any of that. I can't tell you how much I miss because I'm dealing with overheating issues. Now, one of the things I hate the most about motor vlogging is riding at night is nearly impossible, but it's so hard to see what's going on because these camera low light settings, at least for the Hero uh, 11, are pretty bad. And once again, DJI absolutely killed it with the low light settings on this action camera. We'll compare it to GoPro in another video, but just riding at night, it's so much easier to see than it would be with any of the other action cameras. And it actually makes it worth riding at night. And especially in the summer when it gets really hot and everyone only rides at night, it can get kind of tough to make videos if all you can see is darkness. So that's a big plus for this Osmo Action 4. Another great feature that comes with this camera is the rock steady mode. Rock steady just means that when I'm riding, you guys don't just have the camera bumping up and down. I can feel all the bumps in the road, but this, the rock steady will avoid seeing a lot of those bumps in the camera. Um, now I do think that there is like a too smooth because one thing that I like about the, the rock steady is it does have occasional bumps, which does make you feel like you're actually riding with me, not just, uh, you know, watching a floating camera, if that makes sense. They also have a horizon mode on this where it keeps everything still no matter where your head goes, which is cool, but it's also a feature I just don't use. Now, I also love that the Action 4 comes with a bunch of profile settings, so you can set up your own custom settings and then have them in multiple. So if I wanna have like 4K 30 frames, I can have it here. But if I wanna do like a 2.5K with 60 frames, I can just click the button 
Now I have to change all the settings. Very nice to have that as an option. for me to pick up an action camera and just immediately love it. And not only makes my life easier, but the, the benefits of this camera are just better. I haven't seen a whole lot of improvements with a lot of the action cameras from the other, uh, the other brands, especially for us moto vloggers. The auto white balance on this camera is actually really good. Um, I love to keep these settings on auto because like I said, it's gotta be easy. Most of those cameras are gonna have a lot of the same features, whether you can film in 4K, I think you can film in like 5K or something like that on the GoPro, but let's be real they basically look the same and the difference maker between buying one action camera over another is just how convenient it is for your field and at this moment i think dji and their osmo action 4 might be the best camera to use as a moto vlogger and you guys will really see when i show you some comparisons in our next video with the gopro it's probably gonna be my new main so big thank you to dji for letting me check out their brand new osmo action 4 if you guys want to see more content there's going to be way more content on this camera in the next video i'll link it and yeah anyways guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching my review today um, if it helped i will leave a link in the description for you guys to check out this camera and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.